Hey guys, we are, oh, there you go, David. There you go. Is that him? I think that's him. Yeah, I think so. Wow. Maybe I'm the lucky boat driver. All right, guys. December, December 3rd? December 3rd. Not too bad. Not too bad. We're dealing with like zero to one foot right now. Take a good time. Except the low 60s, mid 60s. We're heading 110 miles out to the, uh, the Appomattox Deepwater Proteus. We're gonna try to catch some tuna, so. David is pumping an extra 50 gallons of gas in the churl stew. We probably burn a little more than that heading out. Is it going into the gas or the, or the gunnel? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the gas. Alright, you ready? Something must have ate him. He's, he's giving you a good fight. We did it, let's go in. <laughs> hey guys, we are, oh, there you go, David. There you go. Is that him? I think that's him. Yeah, I think so. Wow. Maybe I'm the lucky boat driver now. <laughs> Tell me what you want. I want this fishing boat. I mean, do you want me to back up? He's there. Yep, I see him. That's it. That's it. That little thing did Man. all that. He ran his heart out. Ooh, he did. All to go into the bucket. Man, he ran like he was getting chased by 
He probably was. <laughs> As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by a black man who thought he was a little hotter than he actually was, we are at the Appomattox, approximately 110 miles south southeast of Pensacola Pass. Been jigging. Um, we're looking 175 to 200 now. A little deeper. Filling the boat with black pen, but. Got uh, one. Oh. At 175. There's another black pen. Black pen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you were a ways down there. Yeah, he was hanging out at 200 feet. There he is. Another little chunk. Alright, I guess I need to start getting a get the view of them cut up. Catching blackfin. It's not a monster yellowfin. But Reporting live here from the Appomattox. I got a from, fish. We got a bucket load of fish, for that matter. David's finding the the ones that make you perk up, though. <laughs> is it yellow, you think? I'm hoping that it is, but I'm going to this one was down around 300 feet. Yeah. That's where I was at, too. Uh, That's not either, which makes me think it's just another black thing. Oh, that's why you thought he was something. Well, he was something. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Not the war. I see him on the sonar. Gotta be close. Yep. Oh, he's pretty good. Pretty good black man, I think. Of course. Yeah, he's a keeper. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's a keeper black fish. He's a monster. Yeah. Oh, that looks decent. Alright, maybe I gotta come back up. Get out of your way. All right, we are bridling a black fin, perfect live bait size. So we are going to send it, send it out. If I can get this done before he's dead. Yeah, he's he wants back in. So. His big cousin can eat him. Twist, twist, twist. David hooked up on something. Something halfway decent. We have a live bait rod out, but I think our I think our live bait's actually a dead bait. So it's nope, been. He took off strong. He's not so strong anymore. So I'm, I'm not sure he just got another black fin. He had a good run. We'll see. I'll record it either way because it's a cool, cool shot with the rig in the backdrop. Yeah. He's not what I thought you, he was. You whipped him now? 
been chunking my sleeves off. Unless something ate them. We'll find out. Oh, you're you're there. Yeah, I think something did. It came up that easy. Yep. Looky there. All right, guys. It's like 4 a.m. We moved to chunking. Uh, jigged all night and got a decent amount of uh, black and kept a few tough of the rest. Is he on? Yeah, he's gone. I don't know how. Oh, yep. It we'll, worked. We'll get back in that slick. All right, last last one on the chunk. I'm gonna go reset. All right, guys, it is 5:30. Still haven't put a yellow fin in the boat, but plenty of black fin. Sun's rising. It's gonna be a beautiful sunrise. We have a service boat, sport fisher. Boat, boat, so we've got some company out here. I don't I haven't heard too much hooping or hollering, so don't think much is being caught, but well there's a fish right there. Belt. At this point in the day. Ah, don't steal it. Ready for that. <laughs> uh oh. There he is, I see him. Pop off. Yep, thank you. So unfortunately we never did catch a yellowfin that night. We tried jigging, we tried chunking, we tried live baiting, and none of them produced a yellowfin. That's just the way tuna fishing in the Gulf of Mexico goes. One week, a rig could be loaded down with 100 plus pound yellowfin. And the very next week, they might move to another rig and just not be found. Preparation is no small part of success when it comes to tuna fishing in the Gulf. But unfortunately, luck does play a part of it. And we just weren't lucky. We, we did everything right, covered uh, as much ground as possible, fished, our dang hearts out fished all night i'm still tired you know three or four days later so although we didn't put a yellowfin in the boat it was a super memorable trip flat seas great company and we caught a ton of fish i mean they are blackfin but at the end of the day sushi is sushi so hope you guys enjoyed i want to plan one more rig trip before the year lets out in the winter time we'll see how it happens otherwise expect to see some duck hunting and deer hunting videos in the near future and maybe some inshore stuff as well Thank you guys for watching. Consider sticking around if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.